Buffer vs Hootsuite 2022, which is the better social media manager. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the dashboards and the overall ins and outs of Buffer and Hootsuite and the general comparison between the both, what does one have and the other doesn't, and a stark difference in the pricing of both of these social media managers. So let's get into it. Now, before I talk about the pricing of both of these social media managers, I'm going to show you guys the actual dashboards and how these social media managers actually work before I show you guys the price difference because you're going to find a huge difference in price in both of these and it, there is a difference in the overall usability of these but for most people I think that the lower price version might just suffice so starting off with buffer if you create your account on buffer this is what your basic dashboard is going to look like I have connected a Facebook page on to buffer and I have done the same with Hootsuite so I have Facebook pages connected on both of these and you can see on your top you have your navigation then you have analytics engagement and start page and then you can have a 14 day of free trial for their premium version. Then if you click on apps, you can go on to the integration section over here and you're going to find all the different integrations you can add to your Buffer account. So you can see that there is quite a plethora of different kind of integrations you can add to Buffer. Now on Buffer, you can schedule posts very easily. And that is probably like the most usable feature on Buffer. You can schedule your posts accordingly and you can create posts directly from Buffer. And you can see on your left side, you have this navigation plane where you can see the calendar, campaigns, and queues. And on your queues, you have one channel and you can add up to three more channels on the free version of Buffer. Now, it's pretty simple to add different channels. If you go into the channel section over here, you can click on connect new channel and you can choose a social media channel from Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Shopify. And that is a, quite a variety for a free social media manager. It provides you with a lot more than what you would usually expect because you can really post far ahead in the future using Buffer. So if I go into the calendar over here, like I can go and move this, like I'm going to make this a monthly calendar from here and then I can move ahead and then I can schedule posts for April and I can schedule posts for June and May and I can schedule posts way ahead of time. That is something that is pretty great about Buffer and it's pretty simple and easy to navigate on their platform as well. So if I click on create post over here, I can just add different text and then on this text so i can just say welcome to our page and then if i click on add image or video i can design with canva i can add it from my google drive onedrive or dropbox or add it directly from my laptop or computer now you can even click on over here and see how your post is going to be scheduled so if you want this to be shared now if you want this to be shared next so whatever is scheduled and if you want this to be posted right after the first scheduled post is posted you can do that as well or you can just add it to the and add it on the calendar on a specific time and date. Now, after that, you have your analytics and engagement, and these two features are only available for people that are paying for Buffer, and Buffer is not really that expensive, so you have to keep that into consideration when you're looking at the paid version of Buffer. So Buffer is going to give you these features as well, and you're going to be able to get some good analytics and get good insight on how, uh, what kind of demographic you're hitting and how your overall engagement is. Now, Moving on to Hootsuite. Now, if you take a look on Hootsuite, the dashboard is a lot less cleaner than Buffer. It's a bit different. And on your top, you have your general streams, add social account, and view as standard. So let's say if you want to view it as compact, you can change the overall setting of how you want your overall look to look like. Now, on your left, you're going to find a navigation panel where you have your create section so you can create your uh, pinterest pins you can create an instagram story you can create your posts directly from here then you have your stream so if you click on stream it's going to open up this and you can add like different specific streams so let's say if you want to add like a specific facebook account or if you want like your uh, messages added to your social network so what you're going to do is you're just going to select facebook and you're going to select your account and then you can say maybe you just want to see your entire timeline and schedule posts and then this is going to appear on over here and this will enable you to just uh, view everything in a dashboard perspective so this is basically your dashboard now below that you have your publisher and if you go on over to the publisher on hootsuite you're going to find your basic calendar so it's pretty much the same as buffer 
buffers calendar so this is going to give you a uh, very large calendar and you can obviously schedule posts way ahead of time in hootsuite as well so you can get a um, you can really post way ahead in time and you can see you can just open up your calendar and post yearly as well and you can schedule posts for years on end now after your planner you have on the top this content section as well and this will enable you to draft content schedule and see past schedule content first off you can just view the planner let's say if you were like looking back and you were like oh i ran this campaign a couple of weeks back i don't remember when i ran it and i want to see the content of that campaign you can just go into the content section over here and if you're previously past scheduled content and this will give you like a nice little sheet of what kind of content was scheduled and another great feature about Hootsuite is that it will enable you the feature to require approval so you don't have this feature in buffer where you can add like posts so if i click on post and if i'm posting something i can require approval for certain items or certain teammates so if you have like multiple people managing your social media entities then certain writers could if someone is like a basic writer if someone is uh, writing and you obviously cross check their uh, social media content that they're posting onto your page then you can require approval and approve them on your own time now after that you have your promote section as well and you can deal with the content that you're promoting exclusively so the content that you are uh, paying to promote you can find all of that over here now below that you have your inbox now this is not a message inbox this is like a uh, general inbox for messages and your overall social media account as well so you can get different items from your social media account in your inbox now below that you have assignments so you can find stuff that was assigned to you or you can assign stuff to people as well and you can see over here that overall you can just give out certain tasks to specific teammates that you have added onto your Hootsuite platform below that you have your advertise section and you can deal with all of your promotional content over here and this is something I find helpful because if you are promoting posts on both uh, Facebook or LinkedIn, and if you're paying to promote certain posts, you want to keep a double check on them. And this will enable you to get all of your promoted and paid content directly in one place. Now below that at the bottom, you have your analytics for Hootsuite and the analytics for Hootsuite are pretty good. I really do like their analytics board. It gives you a lot of depth and it gives you the overall post performance, best time to publish, all that good stuff is in their reporting section. Now, this was just the overall overview of both of these platforms, but if I take a look at the pricing, now Buffer is available for free, Hootsuite is not available for free whatsoever. And the paid version of Buffer starts at $5 per month per social channel, while the paid version of Hootsuite starts at $49 per month for 10 social accounts. So it is 10 social accounts, so you're getting the same value of money on their professional or their lowest paid version, but you're getting like a pretty close value for money, but you do need to keep into consideration that uh, it is like one account and then you have um, you have certain limitations, like you don't get like, um, unlim you can't schedule like a post in advance, more like bulk posts in advance or manage team access and roles and permissions. You don't get all of that good stuff, but I think that if you're a newbie and you would like to just try out scheduling your posts with your social media content, then you can definitely opt for a buffer. But if you're someone that is running a larger social media profile, then I definitely do think that the features on Hootsuite are far, far, far more powerful than buffer. So if you're someone that is managing like a high profile social media account or social media business or social media platform whatever it might be then you definitely should opt for hootsuite but if you're someone that is starting out and you're just having a bit difficult uh, you're just running into like a slump with scheduling your posts then i definitely do think buffer is the option for you so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to choose your social media manager make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button and i will catch you guys in the next video